हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू एंजॉय शेयर पॉइंट यूट्यूब चैनल सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू पावर ऑटोमेट पावर एप्स पावर बी आई एंड शेयर पॉइंट आई कैम बैक विथ वन मोर टॉपिक ऑन पावर ऑटोमेट सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ हाउ टू सेंड एन ई मेल विथ अटैचमेंट बाई यूजिंग द पावर ऑटोमेट फ्लो एंड इन दिस टॉपिक आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू एग्जाम्पल वन इज बेस्ड ऑन फ्रॉम शेयर पॉइंट लिस्ट एंड अदर इज फ्रॉम द शेयर पॉइंट डॉक्यूमेंट लाइब्रेरी टू क्रिएट द फ्लो ओपन द पावर ऑटोमेट होम पेज बाय ब्राउजिंग मेक डॉट पावर ऑटोमेट डॉट कॉम इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी लॉग इन विथ योर क्रेडेंशियल्स इट विल डायरेक्टली नेविगेट टू द पावर ऑटोमेट होम पेज सो लेट्स क्रिएट हियर ए ऑटोमेटेड क्लाउड फ्लो फॉर क्रिएटिंग द ऑटोमेटेड क्लाउड फ्लो आई विल एक्सप्लेन माई शेयर पॉइंट लिस्ट फर्स्ट दिस इज द शेयर पॉइंट लिस्ट आई हैव टेकन इन द शेयर पॉइंट लिस्ट देर इज अ डिफॉल्ट कॉलम विच इज अटैचमेंट कॉलम वेन एवर एन आइटम इज क्रिएटेड इन दिस शेयर पॉइंट लिस्ट विद द अटैचमेंट एन ईमेल शुड बी सेंट by displaying and attaching that attachment in the mail so this is our requirement and uh, let's create the power automate flow for this so click on create and select automated cloud flow select when an item is created trigger and click on create inside the trigger provide the parameters like site address and the list name after that add an action of initialize variable name the variable and select the type as an array next add one more action that is get attachments to get the attachments we can use this get attachments flow action whenever an item is created in the sharepoint list it will take that attachments from that list select site address and list name here and in the id column take it from the dynamic content under when an item is created next to it add one more flow action to get the attachment contents so let's take that in the parameters provide site address and the list name and select the id from dynamic content that is from uh, when an item is created and in the file identifier select the id which is under get attachments now the for each loop has been added automatically you can see it because we have added file identifier from the get attachments and inside the loop select append a variable flow action select append to array variable and in the name select it from the drop down and in the value and in the value section i will provide the below json code i have already copied the json code i will also provide this in the description box as well so that you can also use so i'm copying it from here and i was placing in the value section so i have copied and uh, pasted it in the value section so let's take the value of name from the dynamic content and take from the dynamic content as display name and in the content bytes value take it from the dynamic content as well that is attachment content then outside to the for each loop add send an email flow action and in the two parameters i was giving my email address select it from the custom value and provide the subject line after providing the email address provide the subject and i have taken it here and i have already formatted the body of the email uh, after that click on show all to display all the advanced parameters and you can see the attachments column and in the attachments column click switch to input entire array select attachment variables after that save the flow and test it manually now the flow got saved and let me test it click on test button and in the test flow window select manually radio button and click on test now the flow starts running and let's go back to the share point list and in the share point list now i will add an item here uh click on plus new button to create a new item now you can see i have already added details in that item and i have attached an attachment as invoice document dot pdf attachment to this item now i will click on save you can see the item has been created with the attachment here and let's go back to the power automate flow and let's see if it is whether working or not if it works it will send an email with the attachment to my outlook now you can see the flow ran successfully and let's you can check the email here it now you can see an email has been received with the attachment now i will explain you 
Another example that is how to send an email with multiple attachments from the SharePoint document library using the Power Automate. I have already created the Power Automate flow for this. I will explain this flow to save the time. Uh, first, I will explain my scenario. I have a SharePoint document library with the multiple folders. I wanted to send an email with all the documents files which are present in this folder. So, I have already created the Power Automate manually trigger a flow and let me explain this flow once. Uh, first, take the trigger and take get files properties only flow action and in the parameters, take site address as well as the library name and to limit the entries to only one folder, select it from the open folder uh, so that it will only take the files or documents from only one folder. After that, take initialize variable and provide the name and type as an array. After that, take get file content and in the get file content, select site address and the file identifier from the dynamic content. Let me show you the identifier from the dynamic content. Here, type identifier. Then it will get displayed under get files properties only. Then select that. When you have selected this identifier, then for each loop will be added automatically. And inside the for each loop, select append to array variable. Inside to that append to array variable flow action. In the parameter, select the name from the drop down. And in the value, provide this code. I will also provide this code in the description box so that you can also use this one. And in the name value, select the file name with the extension and in the content bytes value take it from the file content and let me show you this from the dynamic content once in the name select file name with the extension under get files properties only in the content bytes value take it from the file content of get file content and outside of the loop I send an email flow action and take the email address subject line and format the body of the email click show all of the advanced parameters in the attachments column switch to input entire array and in the array select it from the dynamic content of array attachments now save the flow the flow got saved and now test it manually in the test flow window select manually radio button and click on test button click run flow click on done Within few seconds, you can see uh, the flow ran successfully and it will also send an email. Now you can see we got an email and in the email, there are three attachments uh, which are from the SharePoint document library. So this is how to send an email with multiple attachments from the SharePoint document library. If this video helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.